Hey guys, Davidson here. So I woke up this morning and saw an article on Board Panda that claimed that a Russian photographer used a site called FaceFind to find the social media profiles of complete strangers that he had snapped in public. Now, I was obviously curious, so I did some research online and found the website of findface.com, but apparently you can only use it if you're connected to the Russian social network VK. So when looking on the app store, what I found instead was another app. The app is called Look Owned or Look A-U-N-D. So of course I signed up for it, trying to test it out. And it looks a bit like a dating app. That's what they're going for here, that you can connect with people that you don't know based on uploading a photo of them that you obtain perhaps in questionable ways. Yeah, snapping someone on the subway at the bar, coming out of a public restroom. That's for sure someone I want to start a relationship with. It's also creepy because if someone wants to quote unquote, dig up dirt about you, if they upload you to this app, they're one step closer of finding media online that may or may not be about you and then forming opinions that may or may not be accurate. So you. I signed up and gave myself the name of Creeper. And at first I selected my gender as male, but then I realized that that wasn't fair and I became a female Creeper instead. Then you have to fill out your city and then upload a selfie of yourself so you too can be matched based on your face. So I uploaded a picture of a goat, but it detected that that was not a picture of a human, I imagine. So I tried again with a photo of an old man mask and it accepted me as Creeper and then I began to try to find other people that resembled me. Now, what it matched me with, I think, was not very accurate at all. I got a mixture of men and women. Here's a man that I was matched with. And then it gave me an accuracy of 75%. And then here's a, a woman. I feel, I feel bad for that woman. You look nothing like that mask, woman. And um, I then tried other photos of, of actual photos of myself. And I don't really feel like the results were all that accurate, but it didn't really give me a resemblance rating of above 39%. So what do you expect? So at the end of the day, this is just another dating app, social network where you can chat with people. You can follow people, people can follow you, you can have photos tagged of you, you can find people who look like you and be invited to events. But I guess the biggest creepy part is that you might have your photo taken without your consent so somebody can hunt you down instead of just walking up to you and saying hello, which is the way that it should be. Lala Davison video.